what is happening y'all it's jason over here at cog hill farm oh we're planning a big day today but mother nature may have other plans oh oh we need to get this done y'all you're not gonna believe this but we just got the phone call from the rental company the t-post gas powered t-post driver is in so we're headed over to the rental company to uh to go pick it up to give you guys a quick recap as to what's going on is that we are building new pastures for our animals around our brand new barn that we've built but me and brooke kind of ran into a little snafu with getting the t-post in the ground via the tractor bucket <laughs> Now we've used this method before and it's absolutely worked perfectly fine, but it's not working now, over in this area anyways. So we found a company that had a gas power T-post driver or pole driver, but that company was three hours away, even though they had a store, another store that was 30 minutes away from us. Well, they said that they would ship it to the store that's closer to us and let us know when it came in. And guess what? That's what they did. It is here. It is here. So we're super excited because we're hoping that this will solve our issue and we can get this, these pastures built for animals. Let's load up and head over to the rental company. Ain't that right, Holly? Yeah. Yeah. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. We are here at the rental company and I'm a little curious to how big this thing is. Um I know it probably probably weighs 40, 50 pounds, but the size of it, I'm kinda anxious to see what the size of it is and exactly how we'll be able to handle it. I'm thinking standing in the back of the side-by-side -side and going, driving up to each post and then picking it up from the side-by-side -side to the post while I'm in the back of it. Brooke has an idea of using the tractor and we got a big, big industrial, like a beaner is what I call it, like a beaner hook that, you know, that rock climbers will use, but it's really big and hooking it on the, tractor bucket and doing it that way but we'll see we'll see which way uh, works the best especially when I see this thing. so we got it loaded we're headed back to the farm and it is getting kind of late in the evening we got there right at closing time I mean right at closing time matter of fact the gentleman wasn't too happy because we got there at 15 minutes till closing <laughs> don't make me laugh Oh, even though they still have 15 more minutes and all the paperwork was done all I had to do was just load it and back the truck or car <laughs> oh my gracious but we are headed back to the farm uh, we'll be there in about an hour so we'll be we'll be there probably roughly about six o'clock I don't think we're gonna get much done with it today because we got to go get gas and so I think first thing in the morning we'll get up and start pounding some t-post in the ground and fingers crossed this thing works as well as we think it will i know it is you think mm -hmm. all right y'all it is the next morning we are about to get this party started and fingers crossed all of them toes everything that this gas powered t-post driver works because if it don't we're gonna have to regroup but if it does it's gonna be a fun productive but hard working day that is as if this rain stops y'all it is we can hear thunder off in the distance i looked at the radar and it's right here on the edge of us the weather but we're hoping that we can at least get something done or see if this pole driver is even gonna work 
Mm. What you think, Holly? It gonna rain? Huh? It gonna rain us out? I don't know. It's just north of us, so maybe we can make it. All right, y'all. We just got finished up doing the morning chores, and this storm system is just barely north of us. And but I'm seeing lightning, and that really, really concerns me. So we're gonna go on in and see if it passes, and then we can come back out and try our best to get started on putting T-post in the ground with that new post driver. Y'all, I just took two steps under the fork. And look. Here it is. And the lightning. You see it? Yeah, that's what I was concerned about. Yeah, me too. Oh my no, gracious. Boy. Come on, y'all. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Happy I guess we're going to be delayed a little bit. It is what it is. Yeah. Alright y'all, it has been a few hours now and it looks like the rain is gone and look we got almost an inch, almost an inch of rain. Like Eight tenths of an inch of rain and no it's not 2.36 a.m. Um, of course it's not 1.15 either. <laughs> oh, but here's a good thing. Here's a good thing. The rain's a good thing. But also look, it's cloudy outside and it's saying it's only 73 degrees so we're going to jump on this opportunity while we can it's still cloudy outside we may have some pop-up showers but we're going to try to get as much done today as possible because i don't know if we're going to get many more days like this in the next seven days i i don't know so this is really really perfect it's cool it's windy and it's overcast and it's been raining so the ground should be softer than it has been. And the, the weather, we're, we've been at 110, 115 degrees heat index. Now, with the rain and the cloud cover, it's done cooled everything off and we're sitting around 73 degrees. Let's see if we can get some post in the ground and let's just keep our fingers crossed that this gas power pole driver works. Are you ready to go try this? gas power post driver are you ready huh you think it's gonna work can i get some help out of you today hmm? <laughs> all right well, let's go check it out but first we got to get some things besides the rope you guys can see the sky is starting to get blue so I don't know how long that Sun's gonna be gone but I had to go grab a couple things uh, I went and grabbed my uh, I almost said headphones but my ear protection because I got a feeling this thing's gonna be loud like a jackhammer we already got a string pulled where we want to start and get this T post party started I probably won't be dancing in about five hours but with... <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least I can have fun now. All right, y'all, I just put gas in it and cranked it up. It cranked up fine. I got the right adapter on it and we're fixing to give this thing a whirl. Uh, just as soon, it's probably been 15, 20 minutes since I just showed y'all how the sky was turning blue. Well, look, it is blue and the sun is in full force. So our beautiful, beautiful, cool day is now gone. So much for the overcast and the clouds and the wind blowing. That's gone, just like that. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to sweat today. <laughs> Holly, grab that gas can for me. And uh, come on with it. I'm gonna grab the, the driver, okay? Come on. Grab, get the gas. 
Get the gas can. Holly, get the gas can right there. You get it. Get it Holly. <laughs> <sighs> we're fixing to see if this thing's gonna work because we're starting right off in. This is Greg's road bed where he built this for the, um, when he was building a pond for all his heavy equipment to come in the property at. So we're gonna test this thing right off the bat, I'm talking about. Right off the bat. All right, y'all. That worked like a charm. How long did that take? Two seconds. Two seconds. I'm exaggerating, but three seconds. It was uh, <laughs> it was pretty awesome. That's that's pretty awesome. And it's not that heavy. I'm gonna be honest with you. That was one concern that we had, and a lot of people had was how heavy it was. But it's not that heavy. Um, yeah, we need to get a stick to see how tall we want it. But I don't know how far it is up in the cylinder. Well, we'll see. Okay. We'll I'll measure have to, it. Have to take it off and measure it, and then. Yeah, Put it then back we'll on. cut a stick to the size that we want it. I got you. I see what you're saying. Then the we can cut a stick. Part. Yep, yep, that'll work. All right. Once we know we're to that. Right. We'll... Wow. I see how it works now. I was trying to figure out how this thing works, but the the pole goes inside here. Your sleeves, you have determined what size pole you need, and that kind of keeps it kind of balanced. So your pole goes in here and probably goes up to here, and there's a cylinder in here it hammers down real fast kind of like a jackhammer right here so uh yeah that's uh that's pretty awesome that is pretty awesome right there wow if uh if this first one is any indication how this is gonna go that is gonna be the best 180 dollars i think we spent in a long time <laughs> Now what we're doing now is we want to make them all the same height so brooke is going to go get a piece of wood and we're going to measure them cut the wood off and then we'll know where to stop the pounding at so they're all roughly close to the same height wow all right this is exciting i think we can get this done in seven days we're almost spot on there that's right I mean, almost spot on. I don't even know it'll be worth putting it back on there and hitting it that one time. Do you think? It won't, but let's put it back on there so I can mark this and okay. see the part that's exposed to okay. know where to cut it, cut the pipe off. Okay. That would mean that we want to see the black at the bottom right there. Yeah. Cut it off to there and see what happens. Yeah. Once we get all these little technicalities out of the way, we should be able to go pretty quick. taking us a little break actually eating some lunch and y'all notice i showed y'all before we went outside it was 72 73 degrees and cloud cover felt great and within 20 30 minutes look we're now at 85 with a heat index of 95. it changed dramatically Whoo! all right we got the two girl goat sides done y'all can see it the girl sides are done on both sides. Now we're fixing to go up here and 
this side here goes all the way up and also shares with the cattle. And so we're gonna go up and finish that out and then finish the run out to the barn. Well, we had one little, I'm telling y'all, this spot here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This run here, I mean, starting about pole 10, and there's 30 poles here. It got hard, real hard. I mean, for like this pole all the way down yonder was very, very difficult. As a matter of fact, this pole was going pretty good and it hit something and it kicked and we got to get it out. We can't pull it out with our hands. We got to go get the uh, the puller and get it out. But man, y'all, this side was way harder than that side over there. That side over there was a breeze. Uh, we had a couple of poles that were pretty hard, but for the most part, y'all, that side over there, it, was, it took us about less than a minute a pole over there. This side wasn't quite that easy. Um, this, this ground's hard over here. <sighs> but that's okay. It, it got it. There's no way we could have done this without that pole driver. No way at all. And you'll have it straight and it's driving and then it'll hit a spot and then it'll, it'll, it'll start turning it. And uh, we'll just kind of straighten a lot of these up when we uh, start pulling the fence. But uh, yeah, this one right here, got to get it up. And we're just going to move over this way or move over that way and put it in the ground. But all right, on to the next spot, Holly. You ready? Holly's been big help. You've been big help today, girl. Yes, you have. <laughs> All right, y'all. So me and Brooke pretty much have got the girls' paddock done. There are some little things we got to do, but for the majority of the poles are in for the girls' paddock. We just finished this last row here. And once we got this T-post driver figured out, uh, it's going pretty smoothly, except that one side that I talked about earlier that was the devil. But other than that, it's going smoothly. This side here, right here, where the moon mansion is this went by i mean it was quick this was really easy so the ground's way softer here than it was down there but now we're going to continue on through here and make the uh fence come through here which will be the the uh, cow fencing and part of the boy goat fencing and whatever this area here we're going to call it because there won't be any animals over in this area where we are now where the barn is and the mini split and the utilities we're going to keep the animals away from over here fixing to crank it back up and get back started i don't know how much we're going to get done today but i feel like we're going to get a lot of poles in the ground i really really do i didn't count how many poles this was that we've done so far <sighs> i'm roughly somewhere around 75 or 80 poles so far so uh we're, we're we're moving we are moving and i cannot imagine where we'd be if we hadn't rented this pole driver <laughs> i hate to know i would hate to know look at there oh foxy decided to join us what's up foxy you doing okay do you want to see what all the action is going on today hmm is that what it is? You want to see what we're doing today? All right. Y'all, so we went from it taking two minutes of pole in that hard ground to literally I counted five seconds of pole over here because the ground's way softer over here versus over there. We just did, how many poles was that? One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve poles. I guarantee you in five minutes. You know, it may have been less than five minutes. I don't like to talk about products that I don't believe in. Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> you believe in that? I believe in this post driver. <laughs> I tell you the truth. Granted, if we had bought this one, it would have been $25, $2,600. Yeah, it would have been. And renting it for $180 yeah. is a lot better. Way better. But uh, 
at this point, knowing what it can do, yeah, I'd have paid twenty twenty six hundred dollars. Yeah, I agree. But we're not gonna need it after. I you. don't think so. I really don't think so. And if we do, we'll rent it, we'll rent it again. <laughs> So some of y'all were concerned about this telephone pole being in the pasture. And I think they put them about six foot deep, maybe deeper than that. So I know it's in the ground. I'm not worried about that at all. And so I reached out to Brent, the builder, who of course built our barn and house. And because his wife is a cattle farmer, that's what she does for a living. And so I asked him about it, and he said that they have five of these in their cow pastures with no issues whatsoever. And then I also noticed this. So I'm looking across the street, and as you guys can see, you can see this power pole is in this cattle pasture. And this is a pretty big uh, cattle pasture over here. This is just a handful of the cows he has over here. And that power pole right there is in his pasture at this one spot. And this pasture goes all the way down this road. So there's several of them in his in this pasture and no issues there. So I think that's what we're gonna do, but we'll just watch it. If for any reason we see that it's gonna create an issue, we will figure out a way to uh, just fence around it. But for now, I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, these guys seem to be okay. And like I just said, Brant just told me that they have five in their uh, cattle pastures and no issues there at all either. So we're going to try that first. And if it doesn't work, then we'll regroup. All right, so now we're pulling the string for the cows or the cattle. And this pole will not be in the, uh, the pasture. It will be outside the pasture. And I talked about it before. We're gonna have a drivable lane through here or alley or whatever you wanna call it that we can drive a truck through here that'll get us, you know, anywhere we want to get over here without having to open up any gates to animals. Which I think we'll be happy we did this. Holly, you smelling the flowers? Beautiful, ain't they? Yep, beautiful. I tell y'all, y'all probably hearing some wind noise but that's because I'm using my phone. I don't have a mic on it because I left my camera way down yonder where Brookie is down there. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I am not complaining about this breeze at all. Ready to lay out some posts? Yeah. Reckon we got enough? Well, we got enough for this run. Okay. I think, <laughs> I think yeah, that's a long run. Close the start, the yeah. Okay, I got you. All right. Let's lay out some post. So we just finished this row. This is probably going to be our longest one, I believe. That was 550 foot. And uh, we just got it knocked out. So that is the front of the cows. Now we're fixing the front of the boys. And uh, it's not going to be near that long. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was a booger bear. I'm not going to lie. Woo! And, uh, thank goodness for the pole driver. It's starting to um, picking that thing up that many times is uh starting to make my lower back a little sore mid back probably and uh but it's all right i want to this is our goal if we can finish this out then that would be great um i'm trying to think of how many foot we've done i have to figure that out when we get finished <laughs> a lot though this would have taken us weeks uh doing it the way we have been doing it so thank goodness for that gas power T-post driver. Whew. Whew, that thing is a lifesaver. This is going to be the last for us today. Whew. 
I am getting starting to get tired. Starting to get tired, y'all. I don't think I can do any more after this. I just wonder who's cooking dinner. I'm gonna have to go get something. You know what else I wonder? <laughs> what? I wonder who else carries a knife and lipstick in their fanny pack. You had something else in there earlier. You had an air chuck. Well, I took it out. <laughs> oh, man. I saw your air chuck. Oh, yeah. I think we can call it a day after this. I don't think I can go any further after this. Well, if, you, if you need to stop now, we'll stop. No, I want to finish it. This was our goal. Well, actually, our goal was <laughs> that side. <laughs> to do the girls goat pen and and finish that long run for the cows All right, we and succeeded that. we succeeded that but we're gonna try to get this well y'all we we're, we're about to get started on this next or this even my hat's on backwards maybe that's why brooke knew that uh it was time for me to quit <laughs> she, she told me i needed to stop um she she probably knows best and she's probably right we've been at it all day long since this morning um and it is hot and we got i don't know how many posts we got if we'd have finished out what we just uh what we thought we were going to get done with today we would have put in 175 t-post but i don't know how many it is down that road right there so probably around 150 so we got uh roughly 150 t-post in and she's probably right she's probably right i probably do need to stop um she uh she looked at me and said i don't think you need to go anymore so we're gonna we're gonna call it a day. Just don't let Peaches know, you know, that we we're gonna knock off a little early. She might get a little upset at me, but uh, we got it. This this is the first day with it. Yes. Day one. So I mean, I'm not worried about. I, initially, I was kind of thinking, are we gonna be able to get it done in time? Right. But I'm no longer worried about that, and I think you need to stop. Yeah. I I realized when you said I needed to stop and. That you were probably right, and then I, I looked at the camera and realized my hat was on backwards. <laughs> I so. saw it earlier, but I wasn't gonna tell you. <laughs> Mine's probably on backwards too, yeah. but you can't tell it because I don't have a, yeah, a you label. Don't have a patch. <sighs> okay, all right. So you're probably right. We'll uh, we'll call it quits. I wonder how many we got in today. We can count these and we'll know. It's yeah. not that many that's left right here. We could uh. If I had to guess, 150 is what we what got in. That's what I said. In. 150 today. I think we're halfway through. That was the longest run right there, but we got to do that again on and that that's fence the line. the shady side, though. Yeah, you're right. Especially if we do that in the morning time. Oh, yeah. I do want to say one more thing is, is that we don't know where all our gates are going to go. So we're just running the fence post all the way in some spots and probably covering up where a gate's going to go. But our thinking is, is that we can always pull a post up. While we got this driver, we're going to go ahead and drive them in just in case. I'd rather, much rather pull one up than have to try to drive that thing in. Yeah, we uh, got a T-post puller, puller that yeah. has no problem pulling them out of the ground. Yeah. It's just a difficulty putting them in. So Exactly. As long as we get all the T-post in, we can worry about gates after it goes back to the rental seat. Right. Whew. All right. So let's figure out dinner. <laughs> I'm tired, girl. I mean, I'm I'm done for. I'm done for. Stick a fork in me, peaches. I'm done today. Yeah. We um we had a heck of a day though, and I will tell you this. That pole driver is the ticket yeah it is absolutely listen we're gonna get through this thing way faster than what we thought if the weather holds off jesse 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 you are the biggest photo bomber we have you know it 
Goodness gracious. I thought Milford was bad, but Jesse tops the cake. Yeah. Mildred, what in the world have you done to the picnic table? I think it's trash. I do. I think it's trash. But me and Brooke did a number on the pastures today. Ooh, did we? Whoo! We sure did. You gonna love it. You gonna love it. I know you are. You gonna love it. I do something about this though. Peaches, put this on um something to do in the next couple of weeks. We gotta get this finished first. Don't 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 make me do something with this now, okay? I just ain't got time. You know? Scott agrees with me. Yeah. Jesse, you didn't have nothing to do with that, did you? Hmm? Tip, what about you? Oh my gracious, y'all. Listen. Listen. Hear the honeymooners over here. Gonna try to be quiet. Y'all listen. Y'all listen. Oh, never mind. He heard me. They were snoring really loud. I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but Gus and Loretta were snoring big time. <laughs> I'm used to be snoring myself. I tell you the truth, I am. Whew, I'll, I'll go over and lay over there with them. Y'all be good. Mm -hmm.